This is going to be a short little video showing the easy way to fill the cavity in a Rotax engine where the uh, oil pump gear is. If you're familiar with the Rotax engine, this line here comes from the oil tank and it's a one-way line to the central cavity where the gear is. That drives the water pump on the other side and the oil pump on the front. So this is what one looks like. There's the water pump and there's the oil pump. This is what the gear looks like if you do not put oil in there or you get an air bubble in there or you just don't do it right. It, anyway, it's a failure. There's an easy way to put oil in this one-way cavity without having to use like a syringe or anything like that. I mean, that's, that's hard and you got to get the air out. It's a pain in the ass, but anyway, there is an easier way. So let me show you. First of all, you take the line off. That's for your oil tank. Set it aside. Then you take another line. Oh, pardon me. Another line. Put it on there. So this line is just a short line. And what you'll need now is a vacuum pump. On the other end of that line, pardon me, one man show here, is the vacuum pump going straight to that center cavity. So pull a major vacuum on that as much as you can. That cavity, I don't know how much it holds, but it holds more than you think it does. So here I am, I have, I don't know, it says just under 25 inches of vacuum, which is more than enough for our purposes. It's holding a vacuum too, that's a good thing for the motor that if you just assembled you want to know that. And the next step of this whole process, is it's holding a vacuum, set it aside. Get your two-stroke oil of choice, nice clean container. I'm going to basically fill this container because it takes more than you think. So there we are. There's your two-stroke oil of choice. We have a vacuum in the center chamber, and most of you probably see where this is going now. I pinch off the hose so I do not lose my vacuum inside the chamber. So now I have a vacuum line hose here. And I'm going to stick this in the bottom of that two-stroke oil. So this line with the vacuum in it goes straight to that center cavity. Now, it's hard to do this with one hand. Hopefully it goes right. But I'm going to release the uh, vacuum and you'll watch how fast this oil goes into that cavity. So now it appears that that cavity is now completely full of oil. You can also hold it upright for a while and see if anything gravity drains back down in there, but it won't. If you did this properly, it's completely full. At least full enough to start and hook up to the normal operating system safely.